hey what's up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and uh, i am feeling very happy to announce you all that we are now a family of 302 members and we have increased from 0 to 300 in a very short span of time and i would like to thank all of you to that you have shown your love and support by subscribe, subscribing the channel and liking all the videos and I'm glad that my videos are helping you all in your exam preparation and aaj to bahut bhayankar party hogi mere ghar ke bagal mein jo gupta ji ke bhajiye ka dukan hai wahan pe and you all are invited uh, actually not uh, budget issues actually sorry <laughs> so let's cut the crap and let's start with our video and in today's video we have the wedge shown can slide without friction on a horizontal floor. Mass of the wedge is m and its angle of inclination is theta. Okay. A block of mass m slides down the wedge without friction when released on its inclined face. If the path of the block relative to the ground makes an angle of phi, that is 60 degree, with the horizontal, find the ratio of mass of the block to that of the wedge okay so this is a question of simple momentum conservation and basic vector velocity addition so if i draw the diagram once again that we have a wedge okay and there is a block of mass m when it is released from rest the block will start sliding downwards and the wedge will go towards right now here comes the thing that uh, you cannot predict the velocity of this mass while standing on the ground but uh, if you change your reference frame to the wedge then with respect to the wedge you will observe that the velocity of this mass is downwards to the plane okay and uh, but you can predict the velocity of the wedge while standing on the ground because while standing on the ground you will see that the wedge is moving towards right so let us take two variables first first variable will be velocity v1 which is velocity of m with respect to capital m okay and variable v2 that is velocity of capital m with respect to ground fine so while standing on the ground we'll see that the velocity of this wedge is v2 towards right so let us take a direction v2 and while standing on the wedge the velocity of small m is v1 okay v1 vector as i have said earlier that you cannot predict the velocity of small m while standing on the ground so you need to change your reference frame okay so we'll go to the velocity of this block with respect to the ground indirectly using vector addition okay now as it is said in the question that path of the block relative to the ground makes an angle phi which is 60 degree with the horizontal okay so basically they wanted to say that the resultant of these two vectors the resultant of these two vectors v1 and v2 is this one which is the velocity of m with respect to ground okay so basically these two vectors creates this vector because for a person standing on the ground does not see that the mass moves in this way but he actually sees that mass is moving in this way along with some velocity in the horizontal direction so th this will be the resultant velocity now according to the question this angle is 30 degree and this angle is 60 degree okay now we'll just use simple vector addition so our first these two vectors are creating this vector so the perpendicular component of the resultant that is v sine 60 or v sine phi let us say would be v1 sine theta and the horizontal component of v that is v cos phi is created by v1 horizontal component that is v1 sin sorry v1 cos theta minus v2 okay because v1 
cos 60 is in this direction and this vector is created by the horizontal component of this and it is reduced by some amount due to this v2. Okay. So, these are our two equations at the beginning and one more thing that the velocity uh, sorry the momentum along the horizontal direction will be conserved because there is no net force in the horizontal direction. So, you can write that uh, capital M times V 2 equals small m times velocity of small m with respect to ground that would be V 1 cos theta okay, V 1 cos theta minus V 2. Okay. Now, you can just uh, work on these for three equations and find out the ratio of small m and capital M. It is very simple that small m divided by capital M is V 2 divided by V 1 cos theta minus V 2. So, as you can see we will use this equation to replace V 2 which would give you V 1 cos theta minus V cos phi divided by V 1 cos theta oops minus v 2, but hey uh, v 1 cos theta minus v 2 is nothing but v cos phi. So, you can just replace this one as v cos phi. So, you are getting v 1 divided by v 2 cos theta by cos phi minus 1. Okay. Now, you can replace v 1 by v 2 from this equation. So, v 1 by v 2 oops not v 2 it is v so, V 1 by V is sin phi by sin theta. So, sin phi divided by sin theta cos theta cos phi minus 1. So, that gives you tan phi times cot theta minus 1. So, this is our required ratio. Now, just put phi equals 60 degree, theta equals 30 degree. You will get uh, root 3, again root 3, 3 times 3 I mean, 2. Okay. So, this is our final answer. So, this was a pretty simple question and clears the concept of relative velocity in two dimension and conservation of linear momentum very much asked in JE advanced examination. I hope you all have liked this video. Uh, please do subscribe if you are new to this channel and do comment and thank you all again for 300 subscribers. Good luck, have a nice day.